One of the great things about a circular economy is that it causes innovation because it causes people to think differently. When you start to realize that the linear economy is a line of take, make, waste, that it's not a simple decision to have a circular economy because it's not a linear economy in a circle. It's actually a call for innovation because if you take something that's not optimal for reuse and then you force it into another use cycle, you may be doing worse because you could be taking something that was never designed to be recycled and trying to make it into something else. And often that means it gets downcycled, that it, it loses quality. And so people say, well, why is this plastic that was clear and food grade now becoming a park bench on its way to a waste energy plant? It doesn't feel right because it's not circular. It's actually a linear economy being stretched as hard as it can. So the idea of a circular economy is a call for innovation, to design things as biological nutrition and technical nutrition that are in systems of either returning to soil for soil health or returning to industry for highest and best use over and over again. So you end up growing the economy because things get used again. And so instead of the economy spiraling down with the loss of materials and the toxification and degradation, you're actually building an economy that's spiraling up and growing like a living thing. So once you create that frame condition, businesses can innovate into growth, which is their nature.